Next question in Tim Ferriss's book is, what is bad advice you hear commonly given in your field and profession? And I'll tackle this question from the angle of bad advice given as coaching or given as you know, concepts to people who are wanting to get in better shape. That's the angle I'm gonna take on this video, not from the angle of bad advice given to people that want to be in this profession. So I think I kind of addressed that a little bit in another video. So bad advice, nutrition side of things. This one was easy for me. Um, it is absolutely wrong to tell somebody that they, they will improve their nutrition or that eating better means eating less. I feel like that very idea is a cancer. If the number one thing you do when you decide you're gonna clean up your eating or you're gonna eat healthier is eat less, you're immediately doomed to fail because what you're doing probably, if you're anything like the average person, is what you're doing is you're taking a full tank of crappy fuel down to a half tank of crappy fuel or a quarter tank of crappy fuel. So you go from partly malnourished to extremely malnourished. See, for most people, the thing that is the most broken about their nutrition is not how much they're eating, it's what they're eating and possibly the ratios of what, of what they're eating. So starting with eating less is a terrible idea. That's the first thing. Worst advice is you just gotta eat less. That is probably not the problem. Or if it's not like the quality or nature of what you're eating, and it's not the ratios, good chance could be the timing of it, but different note. Anyway, other thing. So if, yeah, if you're talking about the new, the exercise side of things, here's the worst advice. Um, for almost anybody, the notion that <coughs> to get fit, they need to sign up for a gym is wrong. Here's what I mean by that. Signing up for a gym, as in like gym access, like you pay dues so that you have the permission to show up on the premises of a gym is not going to get you in shape because most people don't have the consistent motivation, the consistent action taking just to get themselves to the gym to actually do something there, to take meaningful action on activities at a gym. So on the fitness side of things, it's bad advice to say, sign up for a gym or join a gym. What you wanna do is sign up for coaching or join a program where they coach you on fitness and nutrition. Because then you have a person who's entrusted to actually guide you through the process and keep you accountable. In the absence of accountability, very few people do anything with a gym. Now, I'm aware that our ideal client avatar at CrossFit Edwardsville struggles from this less because our ideal client is typically a person that is active or at least was in recent times very active, had a gym membership and either got stuck in their progress or they got bored. But that's a side note. Those are the two worst pieces of advice I hear given in this industry.